we all should know by now that high inflation is bad for the economy. So this lecture will talk about how high inflation has consequential effects on our purchasing power. And so purchasing power is defined as the quantity of goods and services attainable after adjusting for price changes. And now we know the quantity of goods and services attainable has a direct implication to our material living standards. And this is where we're getting towards how high inflation actually deteriorates deteriorates our material living standards. And so we can take a look at a very simple example of how high inflation can affect our living standards. So we know that low inflation or um, inflation, low inflation as a government goal is between 2 to 3 percent per annum CPR over the course of the business cycle. And this is defined by the RBA as their target range of inflation. Okay, so with this in mind, we'll look at a simple example. So we have a 21-year-old John as our guinea pig in this, in this example. Now, John has just uh, finished uni. He's graduated and he's had a very nice job, paying $50,000 per annum at, say, a local supermarket. He's the manager of this local Safeway, and he is earning fifty thousand dollars as a twenty-one year old. It's a pretty, pretty nice job, pretty nifty. So, what does John want to do with his fifty thousand dollars? He's he's not too economic savvy, so he decides not to save any of this fifty thousand dollars, and he's decided to inject it back into the economy. Maybe he is because he is seeing that the economy is struggling at the moment, and he wants to help the jobs, creating new jobs. So he is spending everything he earns. So he wants to spend ten thousand dollars in say food so he likes going out and he likes to have food and to party just a bit of a party animal uh, so he spends ten thousand dollars a year on that he also spends ten thousand dollars a year on clothes so he loves his new designer clothes and he loves wearing the most fashionable thing out and he's going to spend thirty thousand dollars on a cup Okay, so now assuming that in 2012, this is his total expenses. Now we can see if we add all this together, that is $50,000, and which equals his annual wage. And so now we can see that his needs and wants are all satisfied. And so we can see that because John only needs only wants food, clothes, and car, he is satisfied with his needs and wants, and therefore his material living standards are to an extent maximised at the current point. So let's move on to 2013. Let's see what happens now. 2013, inflation has risen by 10%. And 10%, this is due to an increase in the cost of labor. So John only goes to one restaurant and now that the restaurant is charging more for labor and to maintain their profit margin they're going to cost they'll charge more for their food. And it's going to increase to eleven thousand dollars. And so um, with the same bar where which he likes to party at, so this is a bar, they've also increased their labor costs and so their price of food or drinks have also increased 10%. So now he needs to have $11,000 to purchase his food and to satisfy all his party desire. Okay. And clothes as well, we can see that because of our international uncompetitiveness, we're going to see that because labor costs are also high, the cost of clothes has also increased by 10%. And as we know, 10% here is greater than the 2 to 3% per annum CPR and therefore signifies high inflation. And now to the next year, he somehow loses his car. So he, he left his car, he left the keys in his car and someone stole his car and the police were never, the police never found the culprit to, his, to whoever stole his car. So his car is stolen and therefore he needs to buy a new car because he lives in the country and 
he needs a car to move around. And so, because labor costs in the car industry or the auto automotive industry have also increased, the cost of the same car has also increased 10%. So we can see across the board, inflation has risen by 10%. So the cost of the car will be $33,000. And if we aggregate all this up, we can see that the cost of living here would actually be $55,000. So we need $55,000 in income in order to satisfy all his needs and wants of that economy. So in that year. So what this means is that because he signed a wage contract, a contract for five years that is going to have a $50,000 per annum income, this $50,000 is not enough to satisfy all his needs and wants. So what he has to do is he has to make a compromise. Maybe he can only purchase, say, $8,000 worth of clothes and only $9,000 dollars worth of, cl of, of clothes and only eight thousand dollars worth of food I should say and if you aggregate all this up again we get to fifty thousand dollars again so as you can see he's spending three thousand dollars less on food and two thousand dollars less on so three thousand dollars less and two thousand dollars less on clothes. So what this means is that his material living standards has, have have obviously decreased. And so you can see that the quantity of goods and services attainable has actually decreased after adjusting for price changes. So what this means is his purchasing power has decreased. So high inflation causes our purchasing power to decrease. And this is particularly important because we know that economics is a study of choice and a study of how to maximize living standards. And because now we can see that John isn't maximizing his living standards as he did in the year 2012 where, we, where he could have bought food, clothes and a car from his $50,000 income. In 2013, he can't purchase everything he wants and needs anymore. And so he's left unsatisfied. So this satisfied has become unsatisfied. And what this means is his material living standards have indeed decreased. And this would mean that high inflation is actually very bad for the economy in that it, it worsens purchasing power and therefore decrease, decrease our material living standards. So that's a consequence of what high inflation can do to our purchasing power and by extension our material living standards.